Let's talk about other crazy things that happened in 77. So Summer of Sam. Yep. 77. Remember that oh, thing a big shit. deal. Do you know what that is? Yeah. The, 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 he, he killed killer. a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. And he, he said that his dog. Do- he killed a tickled. He tickled. <laughs> He killed. Back then, tickling was a really bad crime. <laughs> it was a capital offense. But they offense. never found out who it was. Yes, they did. Oh, yeah. just kidding. Sam. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Sam. David was, Berkowitz. No, of course. Still yeah. in prison. And he heard voices. Yes, from there his dog. There we go. Okay. From his I dog. get my serial killer. You know, they should have arrested the dog when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. The mastermind. Oh, so what did I just said to do? I didn't mean it. I didn't really do it. <laughs> Even your dog is Nixon. <laughs> I, know. I am not a crook. <laughs> oh All roads lead back to Nixon. I know. Always. Uh, um, Studio 54 opens. Oh. Yep. oh. Studio 54 opens. Saturday Night um, Live is uh, really hitting its stride by 77. It's a huge thing. The uh, New York City blackout. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of, lot of stuff. Jimmy Carter takes office. Elvis dies. Horrible, horrible. Oh, and guess who dies shortly after Elvis dies and no one pays attention because the Elvis news, news is so big? Groucho Marx. Is that true? Yep. <gasps> I remember being also a huge Marx Brothers fan and shortly after... Mm-hmm. Uh, Elvis dies, Groucho Marx passes away, and it gets kind of a, we'll take a brief moment from all this Elvis coverage. I don't know. Yeah. That's Groucho like Farrah Marx. Fawcett on the same day as Michael Jackson. Yeah. Farrah oh, Fawcett Majors right. died, and then Michael Jackson died like an hour or two later. And uh, she really, she, she got short shrift. I'm going to have my publicist do a lot of calling around before I pass. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody out there? Any big stars? Because Conan O'Brien's about to go. He'd like to reserve this afternoon block. Yeah, he wants the whole afternoon and into the evening. How's uh, how's Kimmel feeling? <laughs> Kimmel's fine. He took care of himself. Oh, how about Colbert? Well, Colbert, he's okay. He's going to hang in for at least another month. Good. All right. Well, I'm out then. <laughs> and then just as I'm, I'm going to start to just go up to see the light. I'm going to start, my my soul is going to start to leave my body, and then a massive star <laughs> is going to be killed in a balloon, yeah. and I'm going to jump back into my body. <laughs> that would, that would stick be, around. That would be a feat. I can do that. You should, you should, uh, you should write a book about that. That's a great idea. Literally as a, as a, as a novel. <laughs> you should a guy who's obsessed with getting yeah, the so most coverage wants, possible. Wants to be trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> it's really, it's actually a really good idea. But, I don't know if it's a book as much if it's like a 40 minute funny movie. Well, it's a, and it's, who, who does it in a, is it Tom Sawyer or Huckleberry Finn that sees his own funeral? I forget which one it is. You're the Mark Twain expert. You tell me. Yeah. Well, I didn't get the prize. <laughs> Well, you did deserve I? it, but you did Thank it. you so much. You didn't pass the quiz. No, I did That Sandler did. Uh, I believe, isn't it Huck Finn who's up in a tree and watches his own, uh, watches his own funeral? I don't think it's Huck Finn. It's Tom Sawyer. What's yeah, that? Yeah, so Tom Sawyer. So Tom Sawyer. Yeah, it's, it's Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer, thank you so much for, for getting that for us. It is, it's Tom Sawyer. Tom no, Sawyer. I know. Some people think it's Huck Finn, but it's not, it's Tom But Tom Sawyer. Sawyer sees his own funeral. Yeah. But what if there were a guy who, like you, wanted to see the, I spe- do see my the funeral. spectacular media coverage that you get? Well, here's the other problem. We all know that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> It also, <laughs> so, so much of it's timing. I can say as somebody who covers, covers these things, covers these things. Like, so, so for instance, Tina Turner, right? she died in, like it was announced in an afternoon, right. like, like maybe like two o'clock. And it was like a really slow news day. And it got a ton of coverage. But she was also, I mean, she, she was, was a legend, huge legend. Uh, uh, but yeah. I'm telling you, like, some of it is just timing. Like some of it has to do with like how big is the other news going on that. So no, this is on you. You need to organize this. Oh no, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't so have that... to be the death of him. You don't have to coordinate when he dies, but when it's announced. No, bury it at a Friday at five p.m. <laughs> I know it's gonna be my last thing I do for you, and I'm gonna botch it during the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, it's how you go. I think if I can, you know, like if I bought a Zeppelin. Oh. And I took it up, you know what I mean? And collided with uh, another Zeppelin. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's got to be spectacular. You, you can't die of natural causes. Wait a minute. Attacked by a lion while in a Zeppelin. Oh. Flying thousands of feet you could in the try, air. It could be like r- rescuing someone. Like, like a, Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Like you're heroic. It's a heroic death. We didn't, we didn't appreciate him while he was here. We didn't know. We didn't talk enough about his heroic side. Oh, no. he hey, was... how about this, Jake? You're in the news business. Yeah. And I could... Uh, I could slip you a couple of bucks. <laughs> let's say however I go. And yeah. let's say it's, even if it's, uh, it, you know, just not, it's it's not great. If you're like on the I, toilet. Yeah, and I have, I just had like. Which is how Elvis I just died, had yeah. very bad diarrhea. 
and I died of diarrhea. And it was just <laughs> three days of it. And, and people, di- di- people die of diarrhea, Sona? That's a real no. thing. I How do you is. die? Like, you, what do you, you know, lose no. all your water and your nourishment? Dysentery? So my point Google is that- Google it. Google no, it. it. It's not, yeah, let me Google it's not, that real it's not one. It's not one bout of diarrhea. Okay. It's like days and days and no, weeks. No, 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 but mine is oh, one God. long one bout. One is just an explosion. <laughs> it's one long explosion. And so my point is, that's how I go. I'm going to have Sona contact you, Jake, and you're going to say, try to foil a robbery. To protect, oh. you know, you've got to. You've but got what I, if Sona says, like, in a bizarre diarrhea accident? Yeah, <laughs> and I take pictures of it and I post them up right. everywhere. I'm you sorry, I'm not the one to trust with this. Yeah. Speaking of which, can I say something about Elvis? I, like, so I learned while writing this book that one of the reasons why some people blamed uh, Rupert Murdoch for the death of Elvis Presley, and I'll tell you why, because he had a couple uh, bodyguards that that his dad Vernon fired. And then they well, Elv- Elvis is uh, okay, yeah. And they didn't. They El- did a tell-all. Yes, Elvis is uh, two of Elvis's bodyguards. One was uh, Red West, right? And the other, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, Blue East. No, it's in the back. It's I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> what Blue East. What? Oh, I have. Matt. I have. Uh, I'm contributing. I have. You're not contributing oh, anything. Matt. Look, you're reading through your own book now. Someone well, I have, as you know, I do. Do they ever cut back to you on CNN and you <laughs> forgot and you're reading your own book? It's re- no. It's, That's the way to get to cover uh, up. Red West, yeah. Sunny West, and Dave Hebler. Okay. As told to Steve Dunleavy, right? Who worked for the New York Post? Who worked for Murdoch? And they, so they sold this book, and this book came out. And some people think it's so depressed Elvis by... The book was called Elvis, What Happened? And it was his two bodyguards saying, yeah. man, is he in rough shape, Elvis. And many people think that that was one of that the that things... That was one of the precipitating events that caused him to, like, overdose, and that's how he died. And so yeah. there are people out there who blame Rupert Murdoch for the death of Elvis Presley. Mm. I mean, because he published the book, Steve Dunleavy. And there might that. be other things to get mad at Rupert Murdoch about before. That's, I'm that's not saying I'm, I'm one of... And also, like, they were telling... And they're story about Elvis was true. I mean, what they were saying about him was accurate. Right. Nobody disputes that. But anyway, how did you know about Red West and Sunny West? Other than by reading my book. <laughs> oh, I know all kinds. I just, I, I think, I think I know a lot about. He's an Elvis fanatic. Well, a fanatic is a little crazy. You're, yeah. I know a lot you're, about You're a big fa- fan of his. When I know, when I, when I have areas of interest, I go deep and yeah. then I know a lot about it. And so that would okay. include, but I think that that spreads over a wide area. There are many areas of interest, whether it's Elvis Presley, Elvis Costello, uh, Lou Costello of Abbott and Costello. <laughs> oh. Those are my three areas of interest. <laughs> <laughs>